Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Turkish President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan on over the victims of the earthquake that hit several southeastern regions of Turkey and left many people dead or injured. His Majesty offered sincere condolences and sympathy to the President, the relatives of the victims and the brotherly Turkish people, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the victims in eternal peace and to bless their families and with patience and fortitude. He also wished the wounded a speedy recovery. His Majesty expressed the solidarity of the Bahraini government and people with Turkey in order to overcome such a natural disaster, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect the country and its brotherly people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Syrian President Dr. Bashar Al Assad over the victims of the earthquake that struck several Syrian governorates and left many people dead or injured. His Majesty the King offered sincere condolences and sympathy to the President, the relatives of the victims and the brotherly Syrian people, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the victims in eternal peace and to bless their families with patience and fortitude. He also wished the wounded a speedy recovery. His Majesty expressed the solidarity of the Bahraini government and the people with Syria in order to overcome such a natural disaster, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect Syria and its brotherly people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of Turkey, Rajab Tayyip Erdogan, following the earthquake that hit several southeastern regions of Turkey, which left casualties and others injured. His Royal Highness offered his sincere condolences to the Turkish President, the relatives of the victims and the Turkish people, and wished the wounded a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness expressed Bahrain's solidarity with Turkey in overcoming this natural disaster. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and, Crown, and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of Syria, Dr. Bashar Al Assad, following the earthquake that hit several Syrian governorates, which left casualties and others injured. His Royal Highness offered his sincere condolences to the President, the relatives of the victims, and the Syrian people, and wished the wounded a speedy recovery. He expressed Bahrain's solidarity with Syria in overcoming this natural disaster. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gdabiya Palace. The cabinet highlighted the BDF's advanced projects that has reinforced its capabilities as a model of development and modernization. The cabinet noted the importance of the BDF Hospital's Royal Medical Services Clinics in advancing medical and treatment services in the kingdom through its modern equipment, capabilities and advanced technologies. Following the devastating earthquake that affected Syria and Turkey, the cabinet expressed its sincere condolences and sympathy to Syria and Turkey and wish the injured a speedy recovery. The cabinet affirmed Bahrain's solidarity with Syria and Turkey in overcoming this natural disaster.
The Cabinet then discussed and approved the following. A memorandum by the Government Executive Committee regarding a proposal to develop a mechanism for submitting and preparing government draft laws. And a memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding draft laws that were prepared based on proposed laws submitted by the representatives and Shura councils, which remain with the Council of Representatives and the National Council following the end of the fourth session of the fifth legislative term. The Cabinet then reviewed the progress of implementing Al Fatah Road Development Project, which falls within the Kingdom's traffic projects and its completion rates. The Cabinet also reviewed the preparations made by the ministers and government agencies to celebrate the 22nd anniversary of the National Action Charter. The Cabinet then took note of ministerial reports regarding the following. The foreign bilateral exchanges, engagements and participations for the month of February 2023. The visit conducted by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation and Moroccan Expatriates to Bahrain. The visit conducted by the Minister of Foreign Affairs to Sudan and Hungary. The visit conducted by the Minister of Oil and Environment to Saudi Arabia. The Minister of Health's participation in the 2023 Arab Health Exhibition and Conference. The visit conducted by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments to the UAE Ministry of Justice and to the Dubai Courts. The visit conducted by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning to Saudi Arabia. The meeting held with the Saudi Minister of Municipal and Rural Affairs. Participation at Saudi Arabia's Municipal Investment Forum Furas, as well as the Minister's visit to the UAE to review the Sheikh Zayed Housing Program and the visit conducted by the Minister of Education to the UAE. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with His Highness Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the BDF Hospital's Royal Medical Services Clinics Building. His Royal Highness was received by the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, Commander of the RMS Major General Professor Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, and a number of senior BDF officers. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to advancing the quality of medical services provided to citizens and residents in line with Bahrain's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. He noted the important role of the public-private partnerships in strengthening the sustainability of healthcare services. His Royal Highness praised the BDF's ongoing development and its wide-ranging efforts in safeguarding the Kingdom and its citizens, as well as its commitment to protecting national achievements. He highlighted the BDF's RMS long-standing role in providing quality health care services to citizens, noting the efforts of administrative staff and medical professionals in contributing to the advancement of the Kingdom's health care sector. His Royal Highness unveiled a commemorative plaque marking the inauguration of the RMS clinics and was presented with a souvenir by the commander of the RMS on this occasion. His Royal Highness then toured the premises and was briefed on the RMS's departments, units and medical practices and met with a group of consultant doctors, medical professionals and executive supervisors within the BDF as well as a number of participants that have contributed to the implementation of the project. The commander of the RMS then delivered a speech in which he expressed his gratitude for His Royal Highness's inauguration of the medical premises which coincides with the 55th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. He also gave a brief on RMS's achievements over the years including 
including many prestigious international accreditations and the newly inaugurated building which features the latest technology in medical equipment. A number of senior officials also attended the inauguration. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al-Msallam, affirmed that developing medical services is a top priority in the Kingdom and receives the utmost support of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He praised the achievements of the Kingdom's health sector and praised the goals of the government's plan to continuously improve the sector. The Speaker added that the Royal Medical Services Clinics are a qualitative leap for the health sector in the Kingdom and a pioneering addition to the comprehensive health system. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, affirmed that developing medical services is a top priority in the kingdom and receives the support of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He praised the achievements of the kingdom's health sector and praised the goals of the government's plan to continuously improve the sector. The, speaker added, the chairman added that the Royal Medical Services Clinics is a qualitative leap for the health sector in the kingdom and a pioneering addition to the comprehensive health system. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated in the Global Tolerance and Human Fraternity Summit held under the patronage of the UAE Minister of Tolerance and Coexistence, Sheikh Nahyan bin Mubarak Al Nahyan. Sheikh Abdul Rahman lauded the pioneering and important role played by the UAE to carry out its noble mission of establishing the values of coexistence, tolerance, and peace across the world, highlighting the UAE's efforts to build a robust international alliance to achieve such lofty values. He also attended a 
ceremony honoring the winners of the fourth edition of the Zayed Award for Human Fraternity. The award this year highlighted the idea of hope as a value and message to promote fraternity and human coexistence. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received the Egyptian Minister of Planning and Economic Development, Dr. Hala Halmi Saeed, and the minister hailed the solid fraternal relations binding Bahrain and Egypt, led by His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President. He stressed the commitment of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to support the bilateral relations and expand the joint cooperation. He stressed Bahrain's commitment to continue supporting joint cooperation, particularly in the economic and investment fields, stressing the importance of exchanging expertise. The two sides reviewed aspects of joint cooperation to create further promising opportunities and initiatives. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Mohammed Al Kaabi, headed Bahrain's delegation, participating in the 27th meeting of the GCC Ministerial Committee for Post and Telecommunications in Riyadh with the participation of GCC Telecommunications and Post Ministers. The meeting discussed issues related to cooperation and projects between member states in the fields of post and telecommunications, in addition to the opportunities available in the field of digital economy in GCC states. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, stated that the construction works for the implementation of 132 housing units have been completed in a lousy project. She stated that the ministry will start during the first quarter of this year the work of offering housing units exclusively to citizens benefiting from the new housing financing services. The minister appreciated the efforts of the real estate development company in implementing the project in accordance with the specifications and requirements and accelerating the pace of work in the implementation of units and infrastructure. Bahrain assumed the presidency of the Digital Cooperation Organization in its current session 2023 during the General Assembly, which was held in Riyadh. The meeting was attended by ministers of telecommunications representing member states. Bahrain is one of the first five participating countries in the organization, along with Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Kuwait and Pakistan. During the meeting, a package of initiatives and programs aimed at ensuring that member states benefit from the opportunities available in the digital economy, in addition to strengthening aspects of cooperation and partnership with the private sector and various institutions to face economic challenges, were launched. The Kingdom of Bahrain possesses a solid digital infrastructure in the ICT sector and digital transformation, which earned it a leading status in the region and the world. More on this report. Digital technology has brought about radical and fundamental transformations in the societies and economies of countries. Therefore, the Kingdom of Bahrain has taken proactive steps to rely on advanced digital technologies to meet social and economic challenges, enhance opportunities for economic growth, and advance sustainability in various fields under the royal directives of His Majesty the King and with the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Bahrain has become one of the leading countries in adopting modern and advanced technologies and worked to expand the scope of national digital transformation initiatives and electronic services and devise comprehensive strategies and plans for the development of the ICT sector. Bahrain has ranked among the countries with a very high index in the field of e-government. It also ranked first in the Arab world in the International Telecommunication Union's 2021 Digital Trends Report and earned the 32nd place globally in the Global Digital Competitiveness Report issued by the International Institute for Administrative Development in 2022 until it assumed the presidency of the Digital Cooperation Organization in its current session for the year 2023, which proved the kingdom's high status in the telecommunications sector. The preparatory process of Bahrain's second voluntary national review was launched to be presented at this year's high-level political forum on sustainable development in July. The Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor al highlighted Bahrain's efforts to balance the economic, social and environmental needs in light of the comprehensive development drive led by His Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. She also highlighted the progress on the second voluntary review for the Sustainable Development Goals 2023. UN Resident Coordinator praised Bahrain's efforts to achieve sustainable development goals and integrate them into the government program. The Kingdom of Bahrain has achieved more coordination, rapprochement and integration in foreign relations after the National Action Charter, which came with the approval of 98.4% of citizens. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain has made several achievements at various levels. 
The National Action Charter was the basic core of the advanced steps that enhanced the political, social, economic, human rights and foreign relations aspects to meet the rising aspirations for further development and progress. Bahrain has been able to develop foreign relations and strong fraternal bridges of communication that extend for many years with the countries of the world in order to achieve the best possible level of development for the countries and peoples. The National Action Charter contributed to strengthening the frameworks of cooperation with the Arab world by participating in various frameworks of cooperation in order to remain a political and legal framework that embodies the unity of the Arab nation and works on the integration of the joint Arab action. In terms of international relations, the Kingdom of Bahrain has been able, through its global achievements, to expand the frameworks of global and regional peace through its adherence to the basic principles, most notably the settlement of all international disputes by peaceful means and the prohibition of the use of force to undermine the territorial integrity of political independence of any country, in addition to its positive and constructive contribution to the activities that are related to the field of human rights. Bahrain runners participated in the 25th Arab Cross Country Championship, which concluded yesterday at Cairo Stadium in Egypt. The kingdom recorded a prominent and honorable presence in the Arab merit and won five gold medals, three silvers and three bronzes. Bahrain topped the overall men's 10-kilometer race after the runners won the first four places with 10 points. They also dominated the 8-kilometer youth individual race, winning first place. Bahraini runners dominated the women's competition for a distance of 10 kilometer, also winning the top three places.